He's going to be, um, part of the problem getting hold of him for the last 15 minutes has been he's going to be um, uh, premiering a brand new app um, which anyone can get their hands on and it is going to revolutionise radio broadcasting he assures me that when he, um, he when he comes on it will sound it will be in hd it will be in 3d it will sound like he is in the studio with me and if that's the case that is an absolute game uh we got him have we got him hang on a second Stephen, are you there hello can you hear me ah! Ah, success, success, ah, success. What do you think of uh, what we're operating here, what the system we're operating, the 4106? This is, and there'll be people, this is incredible. Um, it, it, listen, people will be at home not believing there is. If you're watching on Periscope, you can see it is just me in the studio. Hello, there's no one else here. This is amazing, Stephen. Tell me about this app. I'm not I'm not in the studio. It's an app. Um, at the moment, it's operating on a system which we're calling 4106. Yes. Um, I, and, and I think you agree it's crystal clear. I'm not in the studio, if, if any, as you say, any of your listeners. I'm looking watching. behind me, because, is he... How have you done this? I thought you'd be behind. I thought you were behind me or something. That's absolutely incredible. How does it work, Stephen? What what power is it? Uh, it's the power of being in Reading and talking down, <laughs> talking down a phone. <laughs> uh, it's, as, it's as simple as that. I'm in Berkshire. I'm phoning you from Berkshire. I've yep. been at a conference. Oh, great, great. Uh, and um, I think you agree. Uh, you know, if anybody's worried that I'm in the bedroom with them listening to this, I'm not. I'm actually in my hotel room, many, many miles away. Uh, Similar from... defence that you gave in court. Now <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Oh. But it is actually almost identical to what you said. Yeah, but I, I that, that, was, that was unproven. But you know, you, the, the point is, it's a very good app, and uh, I was and this is great. It. And anyone can download this for their phones yes, and, and basically indeed. put me yeah. out of a job. Put who out of a job? Was that? Put me out of a job, you boffins. Ah, uh, well, you know, us guys, you know, there's been huge advances <laughs> in technology over the years. I heard you talking about curved televisions, yes. um, you know, the Samsung, the EU 65K, yes. the EU 55K, Samsung 40 inch, uh, 1080p, full HD. These are all, these are all very wonderful, uh, advances in technology, and I think you'll agree that, um, you know, th- th- this is, this is, this is where we're going. Yeah. This is where technology oh, yeah. is going. Well, th- there's been lots of stories recently, uh, Stephen, about how we're all going to be out of jobs because of the rise of the robots. And I did a show on it on a, f- a few weeks ago saying, right. em- embrace it, embrace the, embrace. Well, in fact, you can embrace the robot with sex bots. Oh, I don't know about that. You know, I've, I'm, I'm very lucky. I've, uh, I did, well, I did have a girlfriend for a while and, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been dating a lot and meeting a lot of uh, women and stuff. I, I wouldn't need to hire it, you know, it's, uh, invent something that yeah. I could have uh, sex with because it wasn't a, pr- a proper uh, human being. Okay, well, let's, um, you know, let's talk about although the... Although that's a possibility, of course, you know, the way things are going. Let's talk yeah. about the... And some of them have got... Situation. Let's let's focus for a second and just okay. talk about the situation at BA British Airways. They've had an absolute nightmare of a, of a week, haven't they? Yes, they have. Um, what's, what's basically happened? They've been oper- operating a system called NATS. Called NATS. NATS, National Air uh, Traffic Services. NATS. Yes. Uh, which is a partly privatised service, um, mm. and it was a uh, uh, last month. Um, Secretary Stephen Bryce confirmed that the government was making a thirty million pound loan to this cash trap and that yeah. and that is the problem that's where the problem of the air traffic control glitches have been um what it led to was a two-hour glitch in the west street in the air traffic control center in west yeah. london yeah. and it led to tremendous problems yeah. now people were basically queuing up outside Heathrow yeah. and gatwick and this is unacceptable um what has happened, in fact, is, is a mass breakdown. Yeah. And, of course, apart from the inconvenience, it's, it's the danger element. You know, we don't no, want people no. smashing into each other in, in midair. Well, something. if you get hit, in, I don't know if you have, if you ever get hit in the shim by one of those trunkies, those, those, um, uh, happened, uh, yeah. the, the suitcases for children, which I, I don't think children should be allowed to have their own suitcases. No. No. The, the, get hit in the shim with one of those, bloody hell you know about it, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't say anything to the, 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 the parents yeah. nowadays. Can you be uh, hauled up in front of the beak? Yeah. 
Um, well, I was at the shop the other day and a child came up to me and called me. Can I say smell? Can I say smell, smell of poo on the? You can say that. Yeah, you can yeah, say. I called me smell. I called me smell. A, 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 a smell of poo. Anyway, I, I turned around right. and I said, "What? Well, who do you think you are?" And the mum's had a right go at me. Yeah. And sometimes I think some of these parents, you know, I mean, I don't know whether it's... Hanging's too good for some of the parents, these kids. Well, of course they are. They've got tattoos, some of them, and they smoke. And I think that in, in cases like that, people with smoking tattoos who, 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 who don't keep control of their children, they should have them taken off them, maybe. You know? Can, uh, we've got a, a text here. Um, I don't, they didn't put their name on, but they, their phone number ends 728. It says, it sounds crap. Skype is much better. Well, I would suggest that that's probably your radio that's making it sound crap. I would, and there's a lot of jealousy about it, and it's probably one of our competitors. <laughs> yes. And if that's uh, Barry Saunders at um, AWS. Yeah. Uh, I've got your number, mate. Uh, so mm -hmm. I, I know who that is. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand is, is, is the telephone number. I don't want any industrial espionage on this show, please. Yeah. Uh, let's we we'll go straight to. Um, Milton Keynes, the heart of uh, Great Britain, and it's Mark. Good evening, Mark. You're through to Stephen Murdoch. Hello, Ian. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Mark. How's it going? Yeah, I'm doing all right in uh, in Bletchley, in Bucks. And um, I'm not in Bletchley. I'm here. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in Bucks. How does it sound to you? How does um, Stephen sound to you, Mark? Uh, just like somebody talking down the telephone. But a lot, <laughs> lot better, yeah? I don't have to say over, and, uh, you know, it's like a two-way radio song. Ah, that's only to the, the <laughs> jealousy creepy. Bletchley, of course, um, Stephen, very, very important in the history of computers, as I'm sure you're aware. Yes, yes, of course. That was uh, where the old, um, what was the name of that thing, that you know, the, the insignia, the, the um, you know. Enigma. I made my, I made my. Yeah, and, um, I'm a million uh, miles from Bletchley Park. I'm still I'm speaking Bletchley. Jeff Turing, um, Roger, was it in Turing? Yeah, Alan Turing. Alan Turing, of course, was a gay, a gay, a gay guy, and um, that, 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 that had no impact on his... It's got, uh, it's quite a nice, nice tour if you ever come up this way and go round it. It's very good. I will, I will certainly will do that. I certainly... I, I, Mark, I, I, Mark, are you a gay guy? No, I'm heterosexual. Okay. Uh, no need to be funny about it, you know, I mean, people... It's a little bit dismissive, yeah, a little bit dismissive. We're a little bit <laughs> yeah, more open-minded. You know, that's fine, what you, be what you are, you know, but it's no need to be Mark, right, let's yeah. get to your tech question for Stephen. Right, okay. Right, Stephen, um, yeah. I sometimes listen to an online uh, radio station. Right. And uh, how do they know that I'm, I'm listening? Because the other day, I texted the radio station, they said, oh, you're a bit late on parade, uh, you're getting later and later. So they could obviously see that I was actually listening. They don't do on DAV or FM, it's only online. How if I could just ask you, just, to get, just, just nudge you towards what, a question, Mark, just nudge you to the question, please. I well, don't know what that... As a gay man, you know, is, is it a gay radio station you're listening to? No, no, it's just a, a, a speech, you know, talk radio. It's a, like a... A, a gay small, talk radio. A small um, commercial station, small you know, they... Mark, if I, we've got a lot of people on the line. If I could just nudge you towards a question, please. What's the question? Yeah, the question is, how do they know that I'm actually listening? They could actually tell. They said, oh, you're a bit late. Okay, so, okay, Mark, let's... I don't let's... know what... I, I mean, you know... <laughs> I've done my best to try and talk about the latest technology and... and Not exactly a tech question, Mark. I don't know Mark. what that was. Mark, I'm going to let you go, mate. All right, then. Wasting everyone's time there, and I'm not cutting you off because you're gay. That's got nothing to do with it. Um, let yeah, us... You're straight. I'll speak to anyone, you know, like Mark, if you're gay, like Mark. OK, yeah. well, let's um, speak to a gay woman. Julie. Hello. Julie, you're hi, through hi, to... Hi, Ian. Hi, Stephen. You're through to Stephen, and if, we've got a lot of people on the line, okay. so if we could... It's, it's right. not exclusively gay technical problems I'm nope. dealing with, okay. you know, <laughs> Petrol ones as well. Yep. Um, Stephen, I'm not very tech savvy, but I think that my computer might have a virus because there's been some very strange searches on uh, the internet history. Okay. Um, th things like uh, ketchup naked toe sucking, oiled cowboy rodeo, Russ Abbott top of the food fight, well, naughty uh, kangaroo fun. Okay, Julie. Um, okay. It's, 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 it's only me and my husband using it, so right. I, I, there's obviously a virus. I just wondered if you could give me some advice. Um, when you say husband, is she, how long have you been married to her? Oh, it's a male husband. Oh, all right. So you're not gay? No. If, okay. can, can I just, sorry, can I just say, if, if you're phoning up, um, 
th- th- pretending you're gay isn't funny, it's not clever, and actually it's quite offensive. So please, no, th- please don't, no more phone calls pretending you're gay, okay? I mean, I, I don't know what, where you get off on all this pretending to be gay business. If you've got a proper technical uh, yeah. problem issue... I'm going to say goodbye, Julie, because I don't really... Uh, you know... Let's try... We've got Rob on the line. Rob, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. What's your technical question? Hi, Stephen. Oh, there's a proper gay guy. Go on. Are you swimming? Pardon? Sounds like there's water in the background. Well, there are there's swimming nights, no doubt, you know, if you want to join that sort of club, it's all male or, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. But I'm not really... That's not really... I'm more technical stuff. Okay, Steve, I have got into photography oh, recently, yeah. Fantastic. and I was just wondering if you can help me with um, a software package or program. Right. What I want to do is take, like, a photo of myself and put it like I'm with Jimmy Somerville, and I'm really struggling to get skin tones to match. Right. I was just wondering if there's anything you could maybe recommend. Have you done those sorts of photographs? What, you want to do what? Exactly, is it a Photoshopping thing? Have you right? ever, he, well, I think what he's asking Steve is, that, have you ever um, used computer technology <laughs> to um, make it look like you are, um, you are with a celebrity? Is that, is that right, Rob? Jimmy Somerville. You want to look like Jimmy Somerville? No, I want to be in the photograph with Jimmy Somerville. Right, it's a, and, and the, the photo exists already of Jimmy Somerville, does it? Yes, I want to be, well... The head does, and I want to use my head right. and Jimmy Somerville's head right. and put them into a new photograph. Okay. Is that possible, Stephen? What software would you recommend using? Yeah, I reckon you, go, you, you know, Photoshop is a very simple software that, that, that's readily available. You only have to go to Twitter, Facebook, see people using Photoshop all the time. Google it. Google it, yeah. my friend. Google it, Google it. Um, let's go to Gatford. Gatford, you're through to Stephen Murdoch. Oh, well, I, I think perhaps he just answered the question. I, I don't need to ask him. I could just Google it. Okay, that's great. Yeah, thanks. Cheers. G- glad to, um, glad to... Glad, it. glad to be some help. You know, well, help. um, that's... We're out of, um... Oh. Callers. Oh. Um, but you, you... Now, listen, here's one of the things. You know I'm a bit of a gamer. Yes. And, um, you did tell me you were going to, um, let me into a little, um, preview on what Xbox have got planned in the next six months. What, what, what are those guys up to? Oh, dear, this was, this was for private ears. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Well, uh, no, no one's listening. Okay. Well, look, um, Xbox got all sorts of things are planned. There's, there's, there's more, um, Black Ops. There's more of um, FIFA 17. Um, the, the thing I was going to tell you about, I don't really want to tell you on air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me. No. Just say it. No. Doesn't matter. Just, just say no. it. No. Why no. don't you want to say it? Which bit? Just say the bit you don't want to say. Say it. No, I can't say it. Why not? No. Well, it's not for everyone's ears. I've, I've, I've got a hotline to people at Xbox, so it's not really, not really for public consumption. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, um, same time next month? Oh, yes, please. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Happy gaming, everyone. Thank you very much indeed. He said happy gaming. Uh, that's Stephen Murdoch there. Um, thank you, Stephen. Um, and uh, that, that app, I don't know if it's on general release yet, but flipping it, that's, that's me out of a job. That's me out of a job.